Himakonsvania, Simba's Mighty Adventure. Oh, I just can't wait to play this game. That was beautiful, Bruce. Mufasa is waiting for you atop Pride Rock. Okay, great, but first I gotta collect all these things. They look like colorful dog biscuits. What can I do? I can roll and I can jump. Ooh, I can roar too. Yeah, I'm fierce. Um, wait, that's not Nala. That's another Simba. It's Simba. So I'm just talking to myself here, I guess. Thanks, Nala. You're the best. Poor girl. Oh, you're lucky this game came out 20 years ago because you would not get away with saying that today. To protect yourself, Simba, you must learn to roar. I've already been doing that, fool! Oh, look, there's Scar! Let's just kill him right now and get it over with. Eat my roar! See how easy that was? The game's already over. I'm just kidding, but admit it, I fooled ya. Wait, I just saw Scar! I guess he can teleport. Why he wasn't teleporting when he was fighting Simba on Pride Rock? I don't know. I do love how Scar swings his head back and forth. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Good God, the hit detection is so bad. I mean, look, I roar next to this mouse, but he still dies. Roar! Oh no! Oh, I liked Seal. All right, I have to get this B right here. Out of context, that line may have sounded kind of messed up. Uh, you know what, you can keep the A, Sim. I like that. I was thinking about losing the E at the end of my name, just going by Brooke, you know. Or would it still be Bruce? I don't know, do I even need the E? It's okay, he lands on his feet. Whoa, did you see that? Dumb luck right there. I'm in the elephant graveyard right now, and the hyenas in this game have like, warthog tusks that cover their whole face. Probably from all that radioactive wildebeest they eat. At the end of the level, you fight all three, but good luck telling them apart. Oh shoot, it's the stampede! Oh, let's run! What is that, a lemur? What's it doing in the stampede? I was working on my roar and doing so made a herd of wildebeest charge. What's your excuse, Momo? This stampede's not that bad, actually, so I'm gonna go back and get that gourd. It's funny, he keeps saying ouch, but he's not taking any damage. Oh, I'm gonna get that letter, too. Or maybe not. How embarrassing. Yeah, Zazu, totally. Being trotted to death by a wildebeest, it's very embarrassing. Even a king has many dangerous enemies. You mean like wildebeest number 58? Who knows I wasn't responsible for the uproar? Oh, is the stampede over? What are they waiting for? Can I jump over these guys? How embarrassing. Again, I have to agree with Mr. Atkinson here. Falling in a hole to your death is absolutely humiliating. Woohoo! Woohoo, yeah! I mean, my dad's dead, but yeah! Or is he? We don't really find out. If you collect both gourds in the level, you get a free turn for the bonus game. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Well, let's play a bonus game while we're at it. Oh, it's a matching game. Help Kiara find matching... Kiara? Is this game based on the feature-length masterpiece or the bland straight-to-video sequel? Or both? I mean, there's nothing on the front or the back that gives you any indication that it's based on The Lion King 2. But it did come out two years after The Lion King 2's release, which is plenty enough time for the game developers to realize that it doesn't deserve a game. But they did make a game for Little Mermaid 2. So ignoring all that, let's match some rocks. Hafiki! <laughs> yes! Zazu! Zazu! I sure am Zubasa! Simone! Look hard. Well, puberty was terrible, thanks for asking. Oh yeah, and Simba's big now. There's monkeys throwing rocks at you. Of course, they're monkeys, so it could very well be something else. But they look just like those monkeys from the Circle of Life. Why are they throwing stuff at Simba? Actually, those monkeys act kind of angry that Simba was born. 
Maybe they always hated Simba, and now they're just finally doing something about it. You know, I'm surprised I haven't said this word yet, but accuracy. Because look at this. But if you're lucky, something like that's gonna happen. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, time for another mini game. Catch the bugs. All right, come down, guys. Don't be shy. I'm just gonna eat you. This is fun. No, it's not. Ooh, this next level's gonna be good. Return of the King. God, where do they come up with these names? So original. Let's go beat up Scar. You know what's just not fair? I get that the controls are garbage. I'll have to just position myself correctly in order to reach the next platform. I understand that. But while I'm doing so, either a bird or a rock or something comes out and hits you. All right, we finally made it to Scar. And in the middle of the fight, he leaves the battle and starts throwing rocks at you. If a lion can move boulders with his own mind, I think he rightfully deserves to be king. But, you know, as Scar said himself, life's not fair. All right, so is that the end of the game? No, now it goes straight to the sequel. Like it's one big movie. I guess we're just supposed to ignore the large dip in quality? You know, this game does an awful job at telling the story. It has several clips from the movie, but excludes some of the key plot points. Like, this is the first clip of The Lion King 2, you see. If you haven't seen it, first of all, you're not missing much, but you won't know that this is Simba's daughter. You have no idea what's going on. The clips in general are irrelevant. If by some miracle, the person playing this game hasn't seen The Lion King, in fact, if anyone who hasn't seen The Lion King, period, you deserve to watch all these badly cut up clips because what are you waiting for? Watch the movie! It's immaculate! Here's the last level of the game and it takes all of the flaws we've suffered through and doubles them. The sensitive controls, the landing accuracy, the enemies where there shouldn't be, the stuff falling when you wouldn't expect it to, it's all here. Remember when Mufasa told Simba, when we die, our bodies become the grass and the antelope eat the grass. Well, Mufasa lied because when Simba dies, his body becomes the stone. And that's good because the antelope don't eat that. Did you see that? I can't kill two birds with one stone, but I sure can kill one bird and one lion with one lion. And that sounds a lot harder. At the end, you fight Zira. She fights just like Scar, only she throws logs at you instead of stones. You know, for a final battle in the game, the music seems very upbeat. And it might just be me, but Zira seems to move to the rhythm. Like she's in a one-person conga line. Rump, 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 hey! Rump, 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 hey! This... I mean, I've definitely played worse games. But one word that can really sum this game up is broken. And now it's about to be even more broken. Oh, hit me in the head, you stupid game. Even, even when it's broken, it, it just hurts me. All right, I'm not fooling anyone. That wasn't the game. <laughs> you know, it's just disappointing. I love the movie so much and having to play a game based on it, that's not good. I, I don't know, I, I need therapy or something. I mean, is it my fault? Doc? Doctor?